today by Mike Rosenstrike, Managing Director of Helix Resources. Mike, thanks for your time. Good morning, David. Newly appointed, what drew you to Helix? Uh, David, I really wanted to come back to copper and base metals and Australia after a lot of time overseas and on strange sort of uh, projects. Helix has got a tenement portfolio in central New South Wales that just it's just so underexplored. There's so much opportunity. It's all about copper, and copper's you know, a, a hot commodity at the moment. And, um, and and the project's portfolio has got some advanced resources there that we can build on, and then it's just got 1,500 square kilometres of ground that basically essentially unexplored. And infrastructure-wise, what how, how's the area from an infrastructure? I, I can't help. You can't wipe the smile off my face. I was there last week, and while the it's an agricultural area, and whilst it's had really hard times with droughts, I just cannot believe how easy it is to access around the relationships with the landowners. There are several mineral processing hubs nearby, owned by Eris and uh, Aurelia and, and others. It's just fantastic. You know, you, we met when I was roaming around Tasmania and places like that. They're, they're great places to explore, but access and logistics can be challenging. I just can't believe how easy it is in this Cobar area. Looking at the projects themselves, what's the recent work program look like? Look, it, it's been pretty exciting. I just need to get, go back a little bit. The company over the last couple of years has tended to raise small amounts of money and execute small programs, very campaign based. And what we lose by that is we lose the overall geological context. So as an example, there's a geophysical survey technique called electromagnetics. Strange enough, copper minerals are conductive and if you can measure the conductivity in the ground, it helps you find copper deposits. And EM, this electromagnetic surveying, is a very successful copper finder in Cobar. So what we did is we took a step back, we, we raised a larger chunk of money than the company traditionally has. We've raised $3 million in February, and we put that to work to fly the remaining 80% of our ground that hadn't had any EM coverage. And what that does, it's like having a dark a, a house with lots of rooms and most of the rooms have got the lights off. And then suddenly you put the lights on with all this geophysical data and a prospect that you thought was kind of, you know, do I really bother, suddenly lights up as becoming a high priority prospect. And what's really exciting is that the existing resources, the one at Cambalago and the one that we call CZ deposit, they both lit up as well. And indeed at Cambalago, where we're drilling now, it lit up. Um, anomalies adjacent to the existing uh, mineralisation. So that's really exciting. So that's a little bit of the background. So what do we do now in terms of having all these lights switched on in this house in Cobar? We, we drill and we're drilling right now. A couple of days ago we announced our first uh, technical result in terms of 24 metres of copper sulphide mineralisation. We're waiting for the assays but we're pretty confident that's going to be typical Cambalgo style copper mineralisation. So all about drilling this year? Very much so, but drilling at two layers. One is drilling at the resources to grow resources, and the other one is now drilling these regional prospects that we've identified and supported with the EM survey. So I, I anticipate doing regional scale RC drilling and uh, deposit or resource focused diamond drilling. So you're newly appointed, but you've built out the management team as well? Yeah, look, uh, the existing management team, exploration managers, etc., have done a fantastic job in terms of putting the company into these assets, and uh, and and he's decided to, uh, to to go and explore some new opportunities, which creates a great opportunity to kind of rejuvenate the exploration philosophy. And I'm really lucky that very experienced geologist Gordon Barnes will be joining us next week as the new exploration manager. Gordon's based in Orange, so he's virtually on site, and he'll build his own team. We've got really experienced geologist, uh, Katie, who's based out of Perth. We, but in our corporate administration, we've got a new CFO, Megan Hamlin. So it's just kind of a revitalization of the company, a bit of new energy and some new technical ideas to take these uh, Cobar assets forward. Definitely a rejuvenation of the projects and rejuvenation of the company under your leadership. Thanks. Exciting times ahead for Helix. Mike, thanks for your time. My pleasure and thanks for your time.